Short Lessons by the Office Expert. Hi. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set up the Word 2007 environment effectively to allow fast, more efficient actions while word processing. What we want to achieve is an understanding of hidden formatting, the importance of showing the ruler, and how to manage text restricting configurations. Let's start with the ruler. Click onto the View tab on your Word ribbon and place a tick in the Ruler checkbox. We immediately can see our horizontal and our vertical rulers. There's already one reason apparent as to why we would want to show our ruler and that is we can see our margins. Later on in this lesson we'll discover more reasons why it's important to see our ruler. Let's next show non-printing characters. Click back onto your Home tab. And in the Paragraph section of your Home tab ribbon, click on to the Show and Hide icon. This icon is turned on by clicking it once. We can immediately see our paragraph markers and the spaces between each word. We can also see how many lines of text is between our heading and the first block of text. If you scroll down, this second block of text looks identical to the first and the third. However, now that we've showed non-printing characters, we can see the table indicator on our first block of text, and clicking it once will highlight all of the text in the table. The second block of text, being highlighted now, can reveal the tab marks, and we can see on our ruler a center tab and a right-hand tab. Highlighting the third block of text, reveals that this block of text is set up in columns, three columns. Let's have a look at our ruler now. With our table, we can also see the column boundaries. Moving this boundary will move our columns of text. Next, let's display text boundaries. This is one of the most important non-printing characters that we're going to use. Go up to Word Options, which is behind the Office button. Click on Word Options. Select the Advanced tab and scroll down to the third section called Show Document Content. We're going to place a tick in to show text boundaries and show crop marks. Now while we're in here, it's a good idea to put Always on our field shading. Select OK. Now we can clearly see that the first block of text is set up in tables and we can see exactly where our column boundaries are. We've also been able to reveal our margins. Scrolling down, we can see that our columns have margins as well. This concludes our lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it.